what you can do with this boat because it is powered by biodiesel. You can extract that from, uh, from human as well as uh, vegetable fat. And uh, Pete Bethune, who's the skipper of the boat, in the interest of science, donated uh, a little bit uh, via liposuction of his own body fat to prove that you could actually use it. We had a quick uh, uh, journey up the Thames this morning, and uh, he looked at my spare tyre and reckoned that he could uh, get all the way to Tower Bridge and back based on what he could get from me, but I wasn't going to volunteer. But it is, it's a magnificent boat. It's capable of uh, 40 knots. That's about 50 miles an hour. And it's going to need that, and it's going to break the world record, because the route that it has to take has to go via both the Suez and the Panama Canal, so it pretty much hugs the equator all the way around the 24,000 miles around the globe. And if they do hug the equator, they'll be an awful lot warmer than they are today in Greenwich. But it's uh, docked here for uh, a couple of weeks to allow people to come on board and, uh, and see what it can do. So far, it has been on a bit of a world tour and uh, had people coming on board to have a good look round. But the crew of four or five fit pretty snugly in there. And uh, really, you have to if you're going to spend all that time uh, at sea. To be able to do it, you require not just speed across the water and it can certainly deliver that because it's a trimaran and because the, uh, the hull technology means that it can actually go straight through waves. It doesn't have to ride over them. It can go straight through them almost submerging itself uh, at times. But uh, the other factor in breaking the world record has been able to stop for fuel, biodiesel fuel of course, uh, all the way around. Twelve stops at various points so the team, the ground team, have got to make sure that there is biofuel uh, in place at all the various places around the globe where it will be stopping for, uh, for refueling.